think that I would say Instagram in particular, and you actually, what did you say the true meaning and definition of Instagram was? I looked, I did look it up, and it's, it's. I guess they try to merge the words of uh, the instant camera and a telegram. I okay. thought it was more so along the lines of like instant gratification, which means um, that it is that I want too, it, though. Yeah, I want it right here, right now. Right. Like, as, as far as that goes, but I guess they were trying to merge the instant cameras. Uh, you put up a picture in the telegram, you get to send it to people and you get to communicate back and forth. And I guess that's what their point was when they made it. But that then exploded into something totally, totally different now. Yeah, I mean, I <clears throat> I think that social media has contributed to a lot of like low self-esteem with people. Um, and kind of like the feeling of I'm not good enough or I'm not this or I'm not that because people are only posting like you're only seeing that highlights. Yeah, you're only seeing highlights. You're only seeing and that. it's I think it's pretty sad. You know, I actually had to take a because I would go out and shit. And like if I didn't post a picture, it, you have to wait until I take this selfie and post it and then we can go out. And I was just like, yo, what the fuck am I doing? Like. After a while, I kind of realized that. And so now, like, I post maybe a picture once a month, once every two weeks. Or, you know, let's say, you know, an ex-flame is around. I'm like, oh, this nigga going to see me. Then I'll post a picture. You know what I'm saying? Just There's shit like that. Whatever. I'm being honest. A lot of people do that shit. Whatever. Let me tell you something, though. You want to know how I knew I was posting too much? Oh. Is when I got the DM that you know changes a lot of women's lives <laughs> what is that <laughs> so you know all right <laughs> i'm gonna have to show you this shit because this shit is wild so you know how like girls be going like on out of the country trips mm-hmm. and then like really got no real jobs okay okay so it is kind of like i wouldn't say a secret society but it's kind of like a lot of wealthy men who are foreigners. So somebody went to Dubai and got shit at all. Well, it wasn't Dubai, okay. But somebody went out of town. And <laughs> but got shit I got on. an invitation to go out the country for sexual favors, and <clears throat> I, I was kind of you know I'm used to men propositioning me all the time. I'm a bartender. What the fuck? My titties are out normally if I'm bartending asses out if I'm bartending, whatever. But to actually like have this man who could barely speak English trying to use like a translate app in my DM to fly me out to somewhere for sex. He just kept saying sex, sex, sex or whatever. Like it was, it definitely made me reevaluate the stuff I was posting and what I, you know, like, you know, how I looked when I was posting or this, that, and a third. And I also feel like even, like, I had an issue with the ex-relationship because, like, he didn't like a lot of stuff that I was posting, which I don't be posting shit that's crazy, but I've learned that some things should stay in your phone and not be on Instagram. Don't be showing everybody his goodies. Well, he's no longer in the picture. Now look where that got me. Look where it got me. Okay. <laughs> See, he was trying to coach you up. But it's just crazy that people use, you know, this social media platform to just kind of, I feel like a lot of people are using it for sex now. Like people don't go out and meet at the bars and shit anymore. They meet did. online. Young boys, yeah. Exactly. I so, did it in the DM. Um, so Q came up with this list Um, It's a list of questions that, you know, basically will let you know whether you are addicted to social media or not. (laughs) Yes. So would you like to go over that? Do you spend a lot of time thinking about social media or planning to use social media? If the answer is yes. (laughs) You are addicted. You are addicted. Okay. All right. Do you feel uh, usages to... Usages? I'm sorry. Urges. Urges. (laughs) Do you feel urges... To use social media more and more, more and more every day. So I'm like, oh, I gotta check my phone. Yeah, you sitting on the toilet. Let me check my phone while I'm driving. Let me check my phone <gasps> before I go in here. Let me check my phone. Let me clean my notifications. Yes. Okay. Yeah. At least for me, guys. Do you use social media to forget about uh, personal problems? Hell, fucking yeah. When these niggas start getting on my nerves, I get to scrolling. Next. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Do you often try to reduce your use of social media without success? Absolutely. Terrible. I know. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Do you become restless or troubled if you are unable to use social media? You bored all the time. You don't know what to do with yourself. Uh, you know, some people in 2018 can't just sit in a waiting room. No, everyone's on their phone. That's crazy. Yeah. You, yeah. you you're in an elevator with three other people. I'm not saying y'all gotta have a conversation, but you can't ride an elevator three floors up real quick without checking your phone. Um are you asking me? Anybody. Or, oh, okay. I plead the fifth. That's um <laughs> And the last question was, do you use social media so much that it has had a negative impact on your job or studies? And you said yes. No, I'm going to say no to that. Were you or were you not late to work? Huh? Were you or were you not well, late to work? Listen, because you that was because my account was locked out. Hush you, it up. Are, are you on social there. media? Huh? Was, were you using social media? I was trying to get was it because of Facebook social media to see. It was so somebody I knew birthday. And I- <laughs> this is affecting... <laughs> This is affecting your life. Well, no. I mean, besides that one little incident, I don't really, because at work, I work, um, I'm in the healthcare profession, so I can't have my phone on me while I'm actually at work because it's a sterile environment. But I do get restless and troubled if I can't text. Like, I'm a huge texter. Like, do not call me unless it's, like, about business. You can text me. Ask yourself. Is this textable? And then text me. I that's just what I do. But you know, a lot of things can get misconstrued through text. People people misunderstand my text all the time just because I text how I talk. So I Which may be nonchalant. saying things very nonchalant, but it comes off as aggression. A lot of people yeah. think that I'm like, so no, call me. Call me all the time. Because I don't understand sometimes. Okay. Well, <laughs> nah. I don't like I don't like calling. I don't like hearing people's voices. I don't like to talk to people on the phone. I could do this, you know, on a mic, but don't fucking call me. Like text me, email me, telegram, send a bird, um, you know, whatever. Mail me something. Do not call me. I can't you, stand it. What you're telling the audience is the best way to get in contact with Tiffany is hit it in a DM. <laughs> No, I stopped checking my DMs, actually. It's just been absurd. Unless I know you, I'm not going to respond. Like, they're just... When I came back from Vegas, and after I was done posting those pictures, like, my DMs took up a whole page. And that's when I was like, I'm not answering all this shit. Like, I'm not. So, don't... Just don't contact me that way. (laughs) You can contact... Did you do the email again? I did. Okay, so it's sex on the rocks. What an X. Okay, so um, guys, we do have an email if you want to, you know, write in or, you know, comment, have some questions, whatever. I don't think I really want to do the Q&A on this podcast because I feel like I'm not an expert and, you know, you need to seek real advice because I'm going to tell you some bullshit. But <laughs> if you would like to <laughs> call in, not call in, if you like to write in email, um, you can contact her. Contact us on Sex on the Rocks, S E X O N T H E. Rocks is spelled R O X at gmail.com. Um, so, what you can expect from this podcast is we want to have a safe space for open and honest conversations. Um, this is just how I see the world, this is just how Q sees the world. Um, we want to just kind of change and talk about the stereotypes um, just in, I would say the black community and, you know, black professionalism. I have a career outside of this, outside of bartending. Um, So does Q. We go through the same bullshit you guys go to. um, And we just kind of want to create somewhere, I guess a platform, if you will, because we're definitely going to have some people come in, some interesting people to come tell their stories. Um, I want to get into history. My main agenda is to kind of help, not kind of, is to, you know, I'm a black woman. I want to help my people as much as I can. And that starts by knowledge. And that starts by getting over a lot of things that break down the black community. Um, such as the black family and, you know, finances and et cetera, et cetera. Um, what about you, Q? I'm definitely here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm definitely here to pretty much help God 
the the youth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that got the youth. But like I said, I'm an ex teacher. Uh, or one day I'll be will be in a classroom again. But I'm here to help people learn how to transition from that college to career transition. Okay. Okay. All while having proper dis- dick disbursement as well. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Just nice add on there. Again, ladies, this is for you. I will be having my proper pussy management talk. Um, I might probably do like a segment each uh, week. Um, we're aiming to record this and have this out for you guys every Tuesday. Um, I have a life. Q has a life. But that's <laughs> what we're sticking with right now. Um, and we're trying to go ahead and get this on all the major platforms. Um, it's going to get better as it keeps going. We're still kind of getting our feet wet. This is kind of new, um, to both of us. Um, we got actual studio this time, guys. I know I'm getting real fancy. Um, (laughs) and I'm just so excited, um, for the future. We're going to be promoting events. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina, I know a lot of the people that listened to my show before was in New York. I don't know how that, I mean, I'm from Jersey, but I don't know how that happened, but I'll take whatever, but um, (laughs) wherever you are, um, you know, we're going to be promoting a lot of events. Like I said, I'm going to be interviewing a lot of people. Um, Side note, I have a porn star that I'm trying to get on here and I'm super fucking excited. That is going to be a very nice episode. Okay. I'm going to have to uh, pray about it. No, I'm going to do the rec- letter of recommendation. Letter of recommendation. Okay. Well, we know where his <laughs> mind is. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to plug your social media? Yeah. Y'all can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook. All of that is Quentin Quazy. Uh, Q-U-I-N-T-I-N-Q-U-W-A-Z-Z-Y. Okay. And this is T, Tiffany, or BB. I might go by BB. I don't know. I don't look like a BB though, right? No, no I don't. We'll see. Um, my, don't follow me on anything else except for Instagram. Thanks. Um, <laughs> it's brown, B R O W N dot bombshell, and bombshell is B zero M B um, S H E L L. I never actually plugged my social media on a show. So this should be interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys for listening, and until next time. What are we going to say? Peace? Peace out. Uh, We're going to have to work on this outro. Thank you, guys. Bye.